again. It's Donnie. And I got mail today from Zooey Star. And this has a picture on it, but I'll let you see it in a minute. It is it was supposed to have been here by the 28th. And today is the 30th. So they were late. But I guess they're not like Wish. And even if they're a day late, they give you your money back. So let's see how it turned out. I've never ordered anything from them. So this is not only just my unboxing. It is going to be my review. The box seems to be undamaged. There's just a little bit of wear on the ends, but hey, that's the mail's fault. The box is actually in really good shape. I mean, it's perfectly square. It does not have any, it has a little bit of dings, but pretty good. This is the only box I seem to be getting lately is these blue ones from this Fashion DIY Diamond Paint. Put this open. See what comes out. Oh, lots of blues. This is another dolphin. Okay, we'll start with the pin with the nine applicator. I think this is the larger boat tray. Yeah, because the smaller one doesn't have the opening. And it's got a large clump of wax and it's got tweezers. This is a 30 by 40. Yeah, it's pretty curled. Let's look at the canvas. Curled is better than folded. We will get that curl out here in just a minute. Yeah, the glue came off a little bit when I was trying to open it, but rubbed it a little bit and it came off just fine. Can you see what it looks like? What it's going to look like? Oh, maybe the... Yeah, there's a paper. I'll show it. I'll show it to you from that. Okay. Let's do this. We'll get this flattened out. All right. Comes in one large piece. It's not separated at all. Oops, and I ripped it. All right. It has a funky smell to it, I gotta say. It's very blue. Dolphins tend to have very blue. Oh, wow, really sticky. There is a fairly large bubble here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like I can feel on the canvas that it is actually a bubble on the canvas, and they just put the glue on top of it. I've never had this happen before. They put the glue on top of it where it should have been straight and it wasn't. So I'm going to have to like try and figure out how to get that out of there. You pull on it. I don't know. I'll figure that out later, but I'm not happy about that. The numbers, I mean, the letters are pretty clear. I mean, it's a very dark canvas, but it doesn't seem like there's very many colors, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's just get this straightened out. So we can lay it flat at least. I've been storing my um, new ones that come in underneath this large one that I'm working on so that it will help keep them flat. Okay, I don't know if you can see here. Yep, it's got the sticky on sticky came up with it so see if I can get it to come up without the layer of glue there we go there 
Oh, looky there. See, it's not laid, the glue is not laid down very well. And there's a diamond underneath the glue. A bonus. Yeah, it lifted on this side too. I'm just hoping there's not any more bubbles. Yep, there's another one. Bubble right there. It's not so big. But. Okay. That's one knockdown. Okay. It's now flat. Not curled anymore. I love that people told me how to do that because I normally leave it up. I, I leave it covered and I don't undo it. I just like peek at a corner, but that really helps to get the curls out. So there are some wrinkles that are, that's what's causing those bubbles. But I'll work with that later. For now, I'm going to open this. It was inspected by Inspector 15. See how well he did. More loose beads. Not sure that's part of it. Oh, these are put in here rather nicely. Okay. Here's my inventory sheet. I do not like these little bags with the red tips. I actually bought some, a whole bag of them from Wish. They come apart really easy. The actual Ziploc part is really strong. And when you go to pull them open, sometimes the top part rips and you're not able to get them back together. Or you can't use them but for one project, if that. So I hold on to them, but I will probably never use them. But it was nice that they sent five little baggies here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The Dolphins in Love is what they called it. And it has, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Twenty six colors. It's a thirty by forty, like I said. And eight twenty has the most. That color has the most. So we will see if they are all here. Okay, they are all here. I actually got a little bit extra on a couple of them. Just one. One bag extra for those two. So, everything's here. The only thing I'm really not happy about is the shipping. I mean, they took a while to get it shipped out. And then it didn't arrive by the time they said it would arrive. And then when I asked them about that, they're telling me, they gave me a screenshot of it arriving in a town that I don't live in, but it's in my state. And they said that my package is at the post office. Go tell them you want your package. And that's 
not how it works. Just because it's in my state doesn't mean that it's in my mailbox. Doesn't mean that I have it in my possession. It does not mean that I can just hop in my car and go get it. That's not how the United States mail system works. If you have something being mailed to your home, you cannot go to the post office before it's actually made it to your home and say you want your package that's on its way. So in their eyes, they got it to me when they told they were, they were going to get it to me because it was in my state in a post office sitting there waiting to be delivered. So I don't know if I'll use them again. Maybe. I don't know. But with the bubbles in the canvas, the customer support, and the slowness in getting it shipped, I'm not so sure I want to use them again. I mean, they weren't too bad. I mean, I did, I do have all my beads. All my resins are here as far as if there, there's enough to do the painting. I don't know yet, but having the bubbles in there like that and the glue not being put on the canvas well enough to where it wasn't lifting because I can still actually sit here and pick it up because it, didn't get put down, pushed down onto the canvas all the way. And that's not normal. So I probably won't go with them again, but you know, others may have had different experiences. I'm not saying that they're, you shouldn't shop there. I'm just saying this is my opinion and that's what I will do in the future is just not order anything from them. So, uh, this did take 22 days to arrive, which they were telling me it would be here within 20 days. I ordered it on the May 8th and I received it May 30th. That's still not too bad. Three weeks in a day, not too bad, but I paid $9.48. It's a square drill and it's a 30 by 40. Again, the store was on AliExpress. AliExpress. Is that said? Is it? I know it's supposed to be like Alibaba shopping. So it's supposed to be like AliExpress. But I always pronounce it AliExpress. I don't know why. Anyway, the store is called Zooey Star. Zooey Star. And this painting was Love Dolphins. I will put a link in the description to this painting if you want to check it out yourself. But that's it. Yeah, there's my review. And that leaves the rest of the evening to do some diamond painting after I put this all away. I hope you do the same. And I will talk to you later. Bye.